All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the PSR podcast, uh, season two, episode 20. Um, today, uh, we have the usual three hosts. Uh, my name is Etiquette. Um, with me are Iron. Hello. Uh, and Jordan97. Hello. Um, Tucker couldn't be with us today, so uh, we have special guest Skoa Gogo. Hello. I'm back again. <laughs> Uh, to help us out with some of the DS runs. Um, so, yeah. Um, quick news uh, before we jump into the notable runs. Um, so, Scarlet and Violet released about two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. Um, and people have been absolutely going wild with the game um, speedrunning. Uh, if you are interested in Scarlet and Violet speedruns, um, we're not going to talk too much about them today. Um, just because the leaderboards haven't been set up. Um, but we are going to be voting on leaderboard rules very soon. So um, the big things that are being talked about right now are things like um, where do we start and end the run? Uh, what kind of subcategories do we want? Uh, there are different like storylines that we can go through in the game. Um, so having different categories for those. Um, and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. So um, there's... There's literally eight different active posts right now in the Switch PSR Discord um, talking about things that we're going to be voting on. So uh, if you are interested in the runs and do plan on doing them in the future, definitely recommend joining the Switch Discord uh, so that way you can be a part of that. Um, and then, yeah, unless we have anything else, I think it's good to jump into the first notable run. Yeah, so we got three three runs from the uh, Game Boy series. Sorry, did you want to say something, Jordan? I no, remember. I was just saying. I... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So three 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 runs from the from the Gen One to Three. Uh, first up is Yujito. Um, red eighty percent glitches, third place, um, of roughly twenty seconds off of record with this run. Um, was on record pace, uh, as you can see. Not a very good Agatha. Um, Yujito has been running this. Uh, pretty frequently uh, going hard for uh, for record in the last little while. It's good to see them get a good time here. Uh, a little unfortunate on the on Agatha though, uh, but really good RNG otherwise. Um, and yeah, record is a low 145. Um, I think there's two, one second apart between or two seconds apart between first and second. So uh, really good to see uh, a good uh, low lowish 145 time here. Uh, aside from the, that, what's the chance of hitting yourself in confusion for Gen One? Twenty-five percent across the board, or no? Wait, to hit yourself with confusion? Yeah, to hit yourself should be fifty-fifty, right? Is it not fifty-fifty until like Gen Seven? I don't know. Let's see. It's fifty percent in Gen One, and then it's thirty-three percent from Seven onwards. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think the 25 I was thinking of was being fully paralyzed. That might be yeah, yeah. From, yeah. Well, one and eight to hit yourself three times in a row, that's... Okay, to be fair, that... there's worse things that have happened. Or like less oh, like to be fair, of all the things that can go wrong in red, that's not... Like, that's yeah. one of the dumbest things. Like, Lance Hydro Pump crit or something, like, you almost expect, just because, you know, why wouldn't it happen on a good run? Or Black Belt and Giovanni's Gym. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a run killer, too. Also, but the like... hypnosis beforehand. Hypnosis into the, the confusion hit. Yeah. Oof. Just so silly, man. You're always a Pokemon speedrun. <laughs> so, Alright, yep. So yeah, next up we have Red Catchemall uh, by Grogir, a uh, new world record of 128.43. I think we had a record last month too. Yep. Um, yeah. So uh, that one I think broke the 130 barrier if I recall correctly. And then we have, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, I think it was like right above the 130 barrier. Yeah, looking at, okay, yeah. Looking at live split, 130.15. Whether that is okay. the actual splits or just a different set of splits, I don't know. I'd assume that would be. Yeah, it's nice to see back-to-back um, -back months with new uh, best time in this uh, in this category as well. So, uh, really good run all the way up to Route 11. 
Um, but a mistake on Venonat. I'm not sure what that entails, <laughs> but um, some sort of glitch um, issues. Uh, there was also a troll in the mansion and a few executioners. Uh, the run is apparently beatable. Uh, how far down we can get, I, I'm not sure. Um, but it'd uh, be interesting to see uh, if we can get a new record next month as well. Anybody else want to add anything? Well, uh, as if it, would you have a, a slight idea as to what could go wrong, like a bit in that, bit in that stuff? Um. I'm not sure specifically with Venonat, because Venonat's, so you get Venonat through an LG and there's kind of like two ways to do the LG glitch. One of them involves like using the menu to mess up the map to put certain tiles in certain places so you get the Pokemon you want. And some of them are like natural LGs where you just like go to a place on the map and the tiles match what you need. And Venonat is one of those natural LGs where you don't actually have to do anything special. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what went wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know exactly what went wrong there. Um, maybe he was like off by a tile or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Fair enough. Well, it is, but without the problem. Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> thing. <laughs> Brightness <laughs> gets changed. Fair enough. Move on to... All right, and last... So yeah, so lastly, we have a new uh, Emerald, any percent glitchless Japanese record by Ringo, uh, 223.16. So that is quite a bit faster than English, of course, uh, as we would expect due to the characters. Um, so yeah, about, about six minutes faster, a little over six minutes. Um, we're showing the TNL fight here. I'm not sure exactly why, um, because, because I don't really know I too much about this run. Of the comment that happened oh like the, i don't like who put the thing oh the... yeah I, I added this in so right. um going to champ as you can see he's a little bit behind and um he needs some pretty good luck here so let's see what happens yeah that's a that's a miss probably blizzard and sets up again oh and another one so yeah you got double blizz miss looks like on on the champ, so that's uh, that obviously makes the fight pretty free. Uh, I believe, yeah, the, I'm not sure if the champ has different IVs or natures. Yeah, natures specifically. Uh, I know some of the character trainers do. In fact, all of them should have different natures, but that should make it free from here, especially if you're at full HP. So, yeah, yeah. In, in Emerald Japanese, generally the natures are less favorable for you. Um, which is the opposite way around to Ruby Sapphire, actually, where Japanese makes the run a lot easier. Uh, it's actually quite a bit worse um, in Emerald. Like, um, what, 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 the, the rival fight after the Weather Institute, I don't know what rival number it is. Um, it's it's like a 15 and 16 range without the protein um, on English, but it's like a, it's like a 1 in 16. <laughs> in <laughs> Japanese or something like you you just need like an extra X attack to actually kill the Grovile. So like that, that's just one of the examples. Like, uh, there was also an uh, one of the things in this route, you went and got an extra item or something to make your damage like way higher. Like I think you got Silk Scarf or something at one point for something to help you with Norman's gym. Oh. Uh, that, 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 that was a pretty long time ago that I looked at this. So it, it might not even be a thing anymore, but at, at one point runners did kind of go to that kind of stuff to try and get the time down lower. Interesting, yeah, that way I guess it would be for strength. So yeah. Scarf is, yeah, it's on, it's on yeah, I was really trying to think what move it was there. Yeah, there will be strength. Yeah. It, it is also worth mentioning, as you can probably tell by the uh, input display, Turbo is allowed for Japanese runs. Of this generation. Oh right, yeah. yeah. So that that will also help with the English Japanese differences. So, yeah, and it's also worth mentioning they include the credits in their timing as well. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it's all the fame is like in the two like two twenty. Yeah, so. I was about to say like English timing. This is like a two twenty. <laughs> <sighs> Does this make you want to go back to Japanese emeralds, Oh, I. Uh, <laughs> 
Absolutely not, no. I, I, I would love to not have a 312 in that. Um, but, like, my, my PB literally dies at Tate and Liza for, like, 25 minutes. So... But yeah, uh, it, it's it's a cool run. Don't get me wrong, um, but I, I just I just prefer Sapphire personally, which I know is like a big hot tick that Hollywood people ever prefer. Is it just Sapphire it's shorter? It, it's not. I just find the run like cooler for whatever reason. Like I don't know. I also like Kyogre more than I like Rayquaza, so. Uh, it, it being shorter does also impact it. Um, bro, another factor is like the lag on Emerald for DS is like really bad. It lags a lot on DS. It, it makes menuing really, really awkward, even in the Japanese version. Um, and that's something I saw Sinstar complain about quite a lot whenever he played it on DS. But yes, yeah, so, Sapphire just doesn't have any of those issues. Also, because Gen 3 just is slower um on ds so because it, it runs at a different frame rate you lose like four seconds per hour or whatnot so you know <laughs> i didn't actually know that was i didn't know that was a thing about different frame rate yeah it, it's it's a really bizarre reason I actually thought the difference would be more, but um, I got the numbers from, I believe, Stringflow. Give me the numbers for the different frame rates. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it, it's really a nitpick reason for me to not want to play that game. But yeah, I, I you know I want my my eight seconds. I mean, to be fair, lag is a perfectly valid reason to not run the game. Uh, from my Aggie Scarlet Violet. Hold into that right now. <laughs> Too soon. Too <laughs> soon. But yeah, so but, actually, do yeah. you to keep going on about... Well, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll keep talking. There's, uh, I, I'm sure most people probably saw this because Worcester was doing this for a decent length of time, but uh, New Heart Gold, so Silver, any percent record. Um, Legend has it, that's why Tucker's not here because his record got beaten. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> Wor Worcester changed the route quite a bit from the last rendition that you saw. So Worcester hasn't actually ran this since like 2018 or something. Um, and I, I came to this for a while and changed the minute path. Um, I actually tried to do what Worcester ended up doing in the route. Um, I, I actually tried to implement the change that he's done, but I only changed the minute path, and that's what Tucker got record with. But now, Worcester has come back to it and has changed a good number of things. Um, as you can tell by the PV splits uh, versus, you know, the balance, um, he's changed a lot of stuff. So, the, the biggest thing is that he no longer was to sell it on Mart in Kanto. Um, but that has a bunch of knock-on effects because you can, but well, because you're not going to sell it on, you have to buy everything in Goldenrod. Um, you know, your, your X items and your TMs and whatnot. And in order so you can actually afford everything, uh, you have to do the shopping trip after Whitney, which is why his, uh, the PB comparison saves so much at whitney and loses so much at morty is pretty much just because of that uh shopping trip um because you go to the shopping mart after whitney uh you don't buy fire blast anymore and that makes all of the fights between rival 2 and raikou different and way worse um mainly whitney uh with the fire blast strategy uh you can choose to act special um, or be in Blaze and go for a range on Miltank, or if you have both, the extra X special and Blaze is guaranteed. Um, but if you don't have that, you have to kill a Flame Whale. Um, and you have to leer like three times and hit two Flame Whales, and uh, Miltank knows Attract, which is the main reason it's so bad, knows Stomp and Roll Out. So like, there's a whole host of reasons that that fight can go absolutely horrendously. Um, but 
because you don't buy fire blast um getting the charcoal in azalea town is not worth doing anymore so you don't have to do that massive backtrack segment which is another reason that whitney segment time difference is so big um and i'm, ta I'm taking this one just from worcester's faq uh because you no longer get the charcoal the rng advances less so it's uh it's better to visit the violet center but it takes longer to do it uh but it's better for your hp and pp management um then it changes other minor things like with no fire blast you get extra super potions but you don't pick up ethers um and yeah those that, that, that that's the big change um but it does mean you actually have less x items overall so because of that Worcester had to go and change some of the blue fights. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, blue and red are both uh, battle manipped in this run. You don't actually have to manip blue, uh, but because you have to tweak into blue's gym, right? So you don't have to do all the other Kanto gym leaders. Uh, because you do that, because the tweak that you use to get into blue's gym early is a cascade tweak, um, you have to reload the game and because you have to reload the game that is, you have to save and quit and whatnot that's the reason that manipping blue is worth it if you didn't have to do that you wouldn't manip the fight um but because you've less x specials had to change some of the blue fights that use slightly more uh in order so that you could keep the same amount of x specials for red um so <sighs> That, that that's a lot i'm still not done uh because there's <laughs> there's just so much to unpack with this run this hard gold to silver any percent is easily the either first or second most technical run of the ds games with the other being platinum any percent both of those runs are so technical and there's so much that can happen with them and there's so much that you need to know before you can really do runs at a top level um but the obviously there's a whole host of different fights that you can get with blue and red some are better than others uh because they're manipulated and it was just the, with the way the rng works some of them just you, you get way more crits with you know this seed versus the others so some fights like on red the god fight for red is like a full minute faster than most of the other red fights just because it's so good um that fight is that god red fight is actually the one that worcester got in this run and is one of the reasons that improving on this record is going to be so difficult um you want to quickly show that jordan the uh the red fight yeah 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 fast forward to that um and you, you'll you'll be able to witness the magic that is um rng manip for a fight that you in all other ways would just would not be able to win um because it's some pretty heavy trolling for red and it's all thanks to flash which is the best move ever um it's, it's actually quite funny worcester whenever he saw this damage roll um because he wasn't confident on his a press to go into the red fight he wasn't sure for he'd either missed the battle manip altogether or he got the god fight thankfully he got the god fight um but with the way that the battle manips work with this game is that you need the the ds clocks r to roll over to the 12th r um and on this run whenever worcester had gotten to red it was like 1201 or something it was really really close to only having just rolled over um so in order to beat this run you have to get there because if, if you get there like more than a minute ahead of where worcester's run is you either have to go and manually change the ds clock to get it to where you want it or you just have to wait you know uh depending on how close the uh the next threshold is it might not be worth to go and change the clock um but you, you would have to either get there way earlier and change the clock or just hit a slightly earlier um point and then and then get the the god fight for red as well and like there there's so many different fights 
the be the worst or even sad like beating this by more than like 20 seconds is going to be incredibly difficult and it's it's to the point now where you're gonna be able to get to red on world record pace and be like 30 seconds ahead going into red and be like oh i didn't get the god fight and your run is just like it's now 30 seconds behind record so we're uh, at that point with this category now i'm pretty sure that that's everything i know that was a lot but um but yeah, yeah that was a lot <laughs> it was a very good explanation thank yeah, you great explanation <laughs> There's just there's there's so unbelievably much with this category, and I, for how little I have run this category, I, I think this is a fantastic category. Like more people should run this because it's so it's intricate. Cool, yeah. Um. However, I, if you are going to run that, I wouldn't advise using this route. Um. I would much more strongly suggest um using the route that I made that Tucker used in his record because uh, the, the first of all the movement is a lot easier um, if you actually want to go to uh, Union Cave Jordan it's like 26 minutes in or something yeah just uh, yeah just well, in, in that cave right there j j just so you can witness the, the movement that he is uh, <laughs> that he's routed for this because I actually ran into a similar problem with this whenever I was writing the old movement. Um, all these walking tiles are necessary. If you were to run on any <laughs> of these, you would mess up the minute or just straight up get an encounter. Um, but one of the other knock on effects of um, having you know, or needing to do all your shopping in goldenrod is that you actually don't buy anything in violet anymore so you don't have any repels so you have to get your manip to goldenrod now with this route and if you drop manip at any point before that um you just lose your run which is it's a it's a pretty scary requirement <laughs> But I mean, like, if you're going for a top level time, you know, it's just, it's all in a day's work whenever you're at this level. But it's, it's a lot. And yes, you do have to do that tweak and keep Manip through that tweak. That's another one of the. Uh, so not only do you have that massive long stretch of Union Kim movement, you also have to do a tweak in the middle of your Manip. So. I also heard that he got a spinner in this run. He did. Yeah, he he had a spinner after Mori. The uh, the classic. Yeah, I think that's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a meme. Yeah, can't be record without a uh, spinner. Oh yeah, dude, no 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 um, Johto game record without a spinner. It's just not possible. I, do any of the Johto runs have spinnerless records? Does Crystal? I don't think so. I don't remember. Because I know one. gold doesn't. Heart, gold, heart gold to silver glitchless doesn't. And now heart gold any percent doesn't. So yeah, crystal's like the only one. Which is the one that has the most spinners in it, right? It would be pretty funny if crystal was the one that was yeah, spinnerless. Because really, yeah. <laughs> the spinners in Gen 2 are also way, yeah. way, way worse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, crystal, uh, crystal is spinnerless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> By Wave Warrior, yeah. Yeah, that, that's quite funny, actually. So the oldest one, right? Oldest Johto record is the only spinnerless one? Yeah, the oldest and hardest one to get spinnerless is the only one that's spinnerless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so by contrast, second place on Crystal has two spinners. One of them being Douglas, but it's Douglas. I also think it's pretty funny because I'm pretty sure second and third in this category, neither of them have spinners. Because <laughs> <laughs> Tucker's run didn't have a spinner, and I believe third place is Buster. I don't think Buster's has a spinner either. He's a 2 1, I think, off the top of my head. But. Wait, did. Oh no, I might be thinking of a different run. I thought it was my iPad. Yeah, you're right. 201 for Buster. Big brain memory. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, uh, I, I think that's everything for, for that.
big long explanation, but hopefully it, it all made sense. I, I know it's a it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it was very well explained. It was definitely a lot. Oh yeah, well, but, I mean, that, that's... That, that, that's just the nature of the DS games, is that they have some of the most intricate writing and whatnot in, in the franchise, if some of the, uh, the, the coolest rights and whatnot, so. PLDR, yeah, play this category. <laughs> yeah, a lot of specific moves that you need to do. It's... Yeah. I need to get into my the Nicholas area. Please, please take me there with this. All right. Um, yeah, so moving on to uh, 3DS. Uh, this is actually the only 3DS or Switch record. Um, Scarlet Violet notwithstanding, obviously. Um, this is Ekman Larson's Omega Ruby Elite 4 Round 2 uh, record in 4-16-13. Um, overall, uh, the, the run was, was pretty solid. It had like a 257 any percent time. Uh, which you do some things slightly differently uh, if you're doing a round two run versus any percent, um, but you can roughly tell how good the any percent time was because of that. Um, and yeah, it was it was essentially um, the run of mediocre starters or not starters, uh, mediocre main Pokemon. Um, I think the just looking at the stats at the end of the run, I think the Latios was like the only thing I'd consider pretty good. Um, the Groudon was minus attack. The, uh, Mudkip here is a little lackluster. Um, even the, the Rayquaza didn't even have good attack. So, um, lots of, lots of room, uh, for the stats to be better. Uh, but one of the biggest things, um, in this was getting first ball Rayquaza. Uh, Rayquaza is a 40% quick ball chance. Um, and it takes a decent amount of time to reset, uh, if you don't get it. So... Uh, getting first ball there is really good. I want to say the previous record by T-Pat was also first ball. Um, it was either first or second ball. So, um, so if you if, if he breaks out of the quick ball, do you have to just reset, or do you? Or is there yeah, a you could do. Immediately? Yeah, we end up resetting. Um, typically, you can go in with more like ultra balls or something. Um, like you could do a separate shop or have the money for it. Um, but your chance doesn't get that much better, and there's a decent chance that you get KO'd. Um, yeah. And if you do get KO'd, then um, I want to say your. So we lead we lead the Latios here because the Groudon has the um, red orb on it, so it'll Primal Revert when you go out in battle. So you lose time to like getting Primal Reversion, and it could use Fly instead, so you can't catch it while it's flying. Um, there's just it's usually just better to throw the quick ball, hope for the best, and reset if not. Um, but, but yeah. Um, other other thing that's uh, here in the notes is uh, actually where we <laughs> started the the thing. I kind of went out of order. Was um, the a bit of bad luck in the Mudkip section, um, getting confused um, by the the Zubat in the museum, and. Um, ended up hitting himself there that's that's one of those things that the omega Ru omega ruby run has a bit of an easier time there but if you're doing different strategies where you don't use rock tomb which is what i'm assuming happened here then you add in that chance again basically like the zubat between Al alpha sapphire and omega ruby the omega ruby one has both lower defense and lower speed so it's both a better range and you're more likely to outspeed it um but because it has lower defense, it enables you to skip Rock Tomb and use uh, Tackle on it instead. So um, a bit of risk there uh, that didn't really pay off. But overall, um, overall, this is a pretty solid time. This is a rough category to grind uh, just because of the 40% chance really late in the run. So it's really cool to see. On to Ekman, it was a misclick and then defense scroll. Oh, gotcha. I'm assuming it's the new button. Which that sounds important. Yep. Yeah. That's that's I oh, I don't know that. I just see Ekman, because I Ekman be in chat. X Beckham. Oh, X special on Skarmory instead of X Speed. Oh, oh, so the misclicks on the champion fight, not the Got it. 
Oh, oh, because and then Steelwing got the defense up. So, yeah, okay. Be grateful for Ekman being in chat right now. Yes. Thank, thank you, Ekman. <laughs> it's been a bit since I ran this category, yeah. There's some weird things, especially um, Ekman talking about the Metagross. You don't one shot the Metagross like on purpose, um, just because throughout this entire fight, or not the entire fight, but from essentially when you KO that Agron until the end, you're building up metronome boosts um, by spamming Waterfall. And when you get to the Metagross, you don't KO in one hit and you kind of hope for a flinch. But if you get a flinch and knock it into heal range, then it's like an extra two turns. Um, if it doesn't flinch, it will Giga Impact typically, which means it can't heal the next turn because of um, having to recharge. But if you don't get Giga Impact, then it's going to heal like that. But because uh, Ekman had minus or bad attack here, not minus attack, um, didn't knock into heal range there and was able to, to finish it off with Waterfall. It's like a really strange fight, but it's just the best way through it. Bad play. One second, I am quickly checking because I realized a slight mistake. I end, I think. No, well, it's not a mistake. It's just something I want clarification on. There it is. So, so yeah, the reason why I took a minute there was because this next run, which is Eponymous' Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness beat Darkrai Wonder Mail DS slash 3DS English World Record in 80207. Uh, this run is also actually the world record for or on SRC at least is the world record for the any percent uh in the mail uh any percent the mail world record i think it is um however i when i was like going through this i was looking at this place and it's almost three minutes behind so i i don't know what the situation is with that so I, don't think I mean, can... it, it's mystery dungeon, man. Like, you could just get, like, one god dungeon and just save, like, five minutes. <laughs> oh, I mean, the more thing is more like, why the other run? Or, like, the run up to this point, because there was clearly splits. Or there's clearly a run up to this point, with this being three minutes slower. I don't know why the other run is not on the board, but there must be a reason of some sort. But either way, Oh, though, you mean with, with the comparison? Yeah, with the comparison. Oh, it's not finished. Like the, the rest of the comparison's not there. Maybe like maybe this is as far as he got, or maybe maybe they've just put their any percent things in, and then they've just added splits underneath. That's, that's really what's happened. That would make sense. <laughs> is this on like what? What is this on Wii U as well? Uh, no, this is DS slash 3DS. Ah, okay. So God gamer, playing yeah. on DS. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Either way though, for this run specifically, um, the reason why I'm showing the Wonder Mail menu in is because uh, there was a mistake in one of the codes, uh, and this mistake basically because uh, there's an item called Blue Gummies that are needed, uh, making the mistake led to Eponymous only having the one Blue Gummy when you need two, so that mistake uh, meant I had to put in more codes uh, later on. But then also messed up that code. So I think it was then a third backup code of some sort by that point. And that ended up costing it around four to five minutes, apparently. And in this case, effectively a sub eight. So that is quite the mistake. Also, like, I, to be fair, I don't, I'm surprised people don't seem to make as many mistakes because like, there's. What's it? There's 24 things you need to put in put. I, I don't know how many there is as well that you've got to do. Per, so like 24 times the amount. And the DS touchscreen doesn't seem the best when it comes to like keypads of this size. At least that's more from my memory growing up. Let's go. You might know more about that. <laughs> um, I mean, anytime I've used it for the um, the stuff in like. Uh, a lot of it comes down to the game, to be honest. Like, Diamond Pearl has, like, a full second of lag whenever a keyboard opens before you can actually tap etiquette. You probably remember that whenever you played 
you yep. need to wait a bit for you to be actually be able to type it's fixed in all the others though um but it, it it depends on the game i don't know how good pmd is but the accuracy of like the touch screen purely comes down to if you have your screen calibrated <laughs> fair enough um this says the route though this is apparently the munchlax thalamance route which i feel like every time of a pmd it's a different it's a different lead every single time yeah literally every single time like, i didn't even know there was a salamander a munchlax salamander right yeah uh, i didn't even know that was the thing it would not surprise me if this was the first one <laughs> yeah like, one of the first ones <laughs> honestly like, yeah that down. wouldn't shock me because like well i feel like i know like i don't know if it's this one it's more like red rescue team or blue rescue team i guess because that's the ds1 yeah uh i'm pretty sure that's normally like a meowth or a skitty or something typically right and then i feel like this one i feel like Mario was involved at some point last time i see i never really followed time darkness i i actually watched sky i actually ran sky for a little bit um and whenever i played it was like ryolu vulpix or something <laughs> but that was like oh that was a long long time ago it's not even close to that anymore it's changed like six different times since i last looked at it but yeah, i don't actually know what the difference is between time darkness and sky like as far as i knew sky just had like extra things and everything else was pretty much the same i would not be able to tell you i i never played i never had sky when i was younger oh you missed out the no, game's I so had, good i had time i even spanish or like i bought the game in spain being pal that you can play in english as well but yeah although yeah he actually learned flute like fluent spanish just to play that game yeah yes absolutely my <laughs> spanish is uh, as bueno <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um but yeah one last noted run uh martin scores easy uh new stab and you've sent world record this is a 231.34 uh we've talked about uh the second place uh that martin got last month uh Literally, the only difference between that prior run and this one was the second place or the run last month uh, was just shy of reaching the points threshold to be able to unlock the next area. Whilst this one managed to get it, I believe this was in the forest. Um, it was that, uh, yeah, it was the forest area, I believe, if I'm remembering last month. So that that is effectively the only difference, and. But that difference was enough to be able to get world record. Um, like new snap, I remember what well, it was. I think it was when the game first came out. I think it's. I think CC Never Enders said that it was going to be like around the two thirty mark, approximately where the the final time was settled with it being like on rails. So. Oh right, yeah, I remember that. So it is it's getting closer to that. Theoretical. Now that might have changed, obviously, because that was like when the first game first came out. This is a new update. This is the two point, no, or two point X. I think they have as the the variable version on on their leaderboards. So there might be some differences in there that could have caused a slight change in that estimate. I've not played the game, so I would not be able to tell you. Uh, that's just a thought that came to my mind, though, that there could be some slight difference. But. Yeah, that is all of the noted runs. So, Ian, would you like to go over the marathon runs that have been? Yeah, absolutely. One second, let me just find the document. Yeah, we had a uh, few marathons last month. Not quite as many as uh, before, the previous months, but still uh, quite a few. Uh, we had the one hour... Uh, Thon, which is a Japanese marathon, Wykrin, uh was running Stadium Gold and Silver, uh, Challenge Cup Master Ball Round 1, uh, in 3641. I don't actually know what this, I guess it's just Challenge Cup. So that's, what's Stadium Gold and Silver? Is that a specific Japanese So, game? to my knowledge, Stadium Gold and Silver is different to Stadium 2, or it's like 
Stadium, like that might be the Japanese version of Stadium 2, but then there's also a Stadium 2 that was released in Japan. Similar maybe perhaps to how like there's a blue version in Japanese that's different to the blue or something like that. I yeah, there's also like a Japanese up. there's also Japanese like stadium game like Pocket Monsters. I was gonna say, isn't this technically like Stadium 3 for Japan? Because there's Pocket Monsters Stadium. So there's Pocket Monster Stadium. I don't know if there's I feel like, is there a Pokemon Stadium one that's also Japanese? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I believe that game is also came out in Japan. Like I think they're just different games, you know? Yeah, but then because like there's also like a Stadium 2 and then Stadium Gold oh Gold and Silver in Japanese. Because I have both of them. Oh, okay. So like they are maybe separate games. Well like Where's Worcester? Like... Worcester would just know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Worcester well, probably would know the answer, yeah. What says, what is it? 18 hour run or something? Uh, that's Stadium yeah, 2 complete, complete game. game. Yeah. 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 He's also done Stadium 1 complete game. He's also done Pocket Monster Stadium complete game. Like, <laughs> Ro just loves Stadium. <laughs> oh, I respect the look. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Are you? Yeah, yeah, just moving on. Um, other marathon runs, we have four others, I guess, on the list here. So, Slurpathon 2022, Tayman ND, Puzzle League One Player Stadium Super Hard at the time of 3017. Then we had in Fastest Furs Fall Fest 2022, M Chan 338, doing yellow any percent glitchless at 20317. I think I remember uh, they talked about it in the. Uh, in the Discord. Let me just see if I can find that, if we want to talk a little bit about that, since that's one that I remember being brought up. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, extremely horrendous early game, rest of the run from Misty and onwards went extremely well. Those were his com those were uh, their comments, so. GG's to them on that. Uh, then we had a really, really long Athon 6, Filthy Scrub Gaming. Um, LG, that's Let's Go Eevee, right? Catch them all yes. decks order. Yes. Um, uh, I that run... wonder what that time was. <laughs> uh, so that run, I think, was just as, like, just about finishing as we were starting the podcast up. That's why there's not a time. Because I haven't been. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll pull up the past broadcast right now. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that I one might, now, are... might still be live now. Maybe. I, be I believe it's gone to the next run. I think I saw that they're like 45 minutes ahead. So I'm going to assume it's finished. I just don't know the time. It is some somewhere between 15 and 16 hours. Oof. Um, yeah, I can imagine that would be pretty... Uh, it, that one would be pretty pretty uh, interesting early game. Grinding Bulbasaur. 1523. That's a weird one. Yeah, because like, the Dex Order makes it a lot well. <laughs> like, what do you? I guess you just try and be lying to the forest, get Bulbasaur, and then you've got like you have to chain them, and you have to grind to yeah. get yeah. Because you can only catch Bulbasaur. So. <laughs> oh no! Why would you choose to do that? <laughs> Thank so, you for saying the thing that I was thinking. So I just saying. clicked to a random a spot. Meme. I just clicked to a random spot four hours and 20 minutes in. And. Still in the forest. They are catching Bulbasaurs. Yep. <laughs> they have an Ivysaur. That is dedication. Like okay, a quarter of the run in the forest. I never. <laughs> I will do decks in order first stages. <laughs> What do you mean you don't want to spend hours yeah. in Viridian? I just think, well, like, so after the forest, you have to be, you then just have to be lying straight to. You can get, you get Charmander on route three. Oh, it's on route get it on route three. three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, right. Yeah. But again, it's one of those spawns right. that you have to get an 11 chain to make, like, actually reasonably show up. Well, but you can't chain anything that isn't the Pokemon. <laughs> well, you keep your Bulbasaur chain, would you not? 
Oh, I guess, yeah, in theory, you would. One, right? yeah. After you get your 11, you would have the chain. Yeah. yeah. Then after that, you've got to, like, get build up the Charmander chain, I guess. Oh. The good thing is your Bulbasaur <laughs> chain would then transition to the Charmander chain, at least to start it. Yeah. But, yeah, no, this, this is just sounds horrible. So your first Charmander would show up in a reasonable time frame. Yeah. yeah. And then the oh, second one... Good luck. <laughs> I guess it's not as bad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you get one freebie. Uh, if anyone's interested, uh, I'm sure uh, you'll find be able to find the VOD. Yeah. It'll and then be one a, final it's... marathon run. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, it'll be uh, on the really, really long thorn channel, which they are currently live at the moment. I don't might be doing your cues or anything right now, so not Pokemon. A lot of the, a lot of the Pokemon runes there later in the month, which we will go over in a bit. Sorry, back to you, Wayne. Yeah, no worries. So we have one more marathon run, Butter Blitz. Uh, there was a, well, it's still going right now, apparently. Um, crystal f uh, full item randomizer co-op between Bash Prime, the Ginger Chris, and Baja Blood, or Baya Blood, if, depending on how you pronounce your J's. Uh, that's obviously still ongoing right now, so we'll be, uh, we'll update everyone on that one, how that went next month. And then, uh, for marathon runs coming up, um, quite a few, um, of them, so looking forward to seeing these, um, Butter Blitz continued, uh, Conception's running Pearl, any percent Manipolis, um, Probably coming right after the uh, Crystal full, lighter, full Item Randomizer co-op run, it would appear, based on the time we see here. So just before midnight UK time. And then tomorrow, um, roughly around this time, uh, there will be Tayman ND running Puzzle League One Player Stadium super hard. Uh, so pretty much the same run we saw, uh, or we didn't see, but we talked about uh, that they did for Slurpathon. Uh, then we have... Um, we have Bingo Thon Winter 2022, Rob the Gamer 115, Violet Blackout Bingo. So that, uh, that'll be interesting uh, to see how that will go, because that's obviously a new game. That's on the 5th of December, just after 1 a.m. UK time. And Nazarethon 2022, which is we think is a Brazilian marathon, Dumais, uh, running Y any percent on the 8th of December, just before 10 p.m. UK time. And Maratona do Papai Noel. Another Brazilian marathon, So15 versus Soket at Crystal Beat Elite 4 Randomizer Race on the 9th of December at 1.20. Then we uh, have... No, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, you that seems to be in? kicking the, the marathon off. Oh. Yep, that's true. Do that there. Then we have No Holidays Allowed 2022. Uh, Snow Bear running Crystal Warp Item Randomizer beat the game. Um, 17th of December, uh, 3.57 um, a.m. UK time. Then on, we have, on the 18th of December, we have Marathon SGES Winter 22, which is a Spanish marathon. Diego Armando, 1879. I won't pronounce that in Spanish, uh, those numbers. <laughs> uh, Rumble any percent, no passwords see a little bit of rumble uh, action happening. And then I guess really, really Longathon 6, which is, I guess, continuing, or maybe it's a another installment of it. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Oh, it's just there's a uh, massive gap between the Pokemon runes. Oh, okay. so this marathon goes for like a really long time, doesn't it? It's like a, it's month, like a month, month long. Like a month long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> That's really yeah. Long, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have Das Faro running Kahlo 100% on the 21st of December, 507. And then the next day at about the same time, we have our very own Tucker Lorat running Soul Silver any percent glitchless. I wouldn't say that's a really, really long run, but as speedruns go, Pokemon tends to be long. It can be, depends how badly screwed you get in the late game. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, then we have another uh, run, uh, Hulk and Shady doing Legends Arceus Co-op catch them all uh, the 23rd of December. So about the day after the uh, after Tucker's run. And then on New Year's Day, 
9 p.m. UK time. New Amber Joker sleeps. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee Diploma. And then finally, uh, to cap it off on the 2nd of January at about 8 p.m. UK time, Furist doing, or Fury ST doing Brilliant Diamond Elite 4 round 3. So lots of good long Pokemon runs for that marathon. Then finally, we are two more marathons, both of them Japanese RTA and BIM 2022. Uh, Yohei 3 running Yellow Baton Pass on the 26th of December at 11 a.m. UK time. And Trassy running Scarlet Violet Any Percent. So, looking like the first uh, appearance of Scarlet Violet in a marathon, other than the Blackout Bingo on the 5th of December. Um, that'll be on New Year's Eve at just after midnight on the 31st of December. And finally, we have RTA in Japan, Winter 2022, another Japanese marathon. Uh, Akafuku doing Snap Any Percent. Um, also on New Year's Eve at 3.54 a.m. Okay, time. That's it for the marathons. Yeah. Those two, like, the RTA in BIM 2022, with, like, all of it in Japanese, was a nightmare to try and figure out the first run because apparently it's Does Pikachu. Google like, Translate not call... work. Um, it calls yellow Pikachu edition. <laughs> so I oh. had to try and figure out whether it was actually Pokemon Yellow or if it was Let's Go Pikachu. Like the, like the oh, what if it was Hey You Pikachu? It could have been <laughs> Hey You Pikachu. The baton, I'd be interested to see a Hey You Pikachu baton pass run. It gave me baton pass. Passing the microphone between all the <laughs> points. Oh, God, that would be... <laughs> That'd be something. That gives me an idea. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, a couple, a couple things before we launch into the leaderboard roundup we have uh the heart gold soul silver manipulus tournament which is currently going on right now so if you're interested in checking out uh those uh races be sure to drop into speed gaming and uh watch the uh those those runs there tucker is one doing in that uh tournament as well as a few other lots of other people from the uh ds discord so um should be it should be a good time there's definitely some interesting races uh happening there just on and that I'm note, if you know stuff about Heart Gold to Silver and Manipolis, uh, sign up to commentate because they are consistently looking for uh, commentators for these races. So if you know a decent amount um, about these and you're free at the, the time slots, um, I'm sure Jimmy and, and TTS and what whatnot would appreciate someone else um taking the reins for a race or two because those guys have been working really hard doing a good number of them so let me actually put the ds this is half of this for the commands is trying to remember what i actually labeled commands i don't remember the gem one to three just called commands i remember the ds one <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Rebenta. Shout out, shout outs to Matt and Primal for commentating a race. Yeah, that, that, that's all I have for that one. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Thank you for thank you for uh, pointing that out. Definitely uh, want to help those guys out if we can. And then finally, for under the cool things list here, we have a Pokemon Coliseum TAS reveal. Uh, that will be happening tomorrow at 5 p.m. UK time, noon Eastern. So um, that will be really interesting to see. So if you're interested in that, I'm not sure if we have a link or where that's going to be. Um, Jordan, do you um, have any more information about that? Uh, yes, that's going to be on this channel. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, uh, that will be on this channel uh, by uh, the only one uh, who made this. Messaged me on Wednesday okay. and asked, <laughs> asked if they could do it. and. So yeah, yeah, it's good to see more um, activity on this uh, on this channel for sure. Because we normally, yeah, we have the podcast, we have the marathon, and then a few of the, uh, the barrier blitzes. But good to see some TAS representation here. So that should be interesting. Yes, um, the current plan for it. I say the current plan. It is the plan. Um, 
the it's going to be like a an open VC apparently in the uh, what do you call it in the Colosseum Discord. So if you know anything about Colosseum, or you just want to look at the Colosseum, or like hear or hear like get like the group atmosphere type uh, feeling. I'll be there for the salsa. Yeah, feel feel free to in chat. Yeah, <laughs> be in the, be in the chat. It's going to be it's going to be interesting to say the least. I imagine because there's a, I I because like I've I've gotten the link for it, but I've not seen it at all yet. So I don't know how I don't know how good like the collab is going to be, the nations or anything like that. I'm going to assume it's going to be very good. <laughs> But yeah, there's a, a lot, a lot of interesting things. Also, yeah, shout out to the comment that Scott deleted in chat. Perfect timing from what Isaac had said. Just, just, just comedic timing, man. Yeah, just, perfect. Timing. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Can't ask for better. <laughs> yes. On the, uh, onto the leaderboard roundup. Um, this is a much shorter leaderboard roundup because it's only three weeks as well since the last podcast. But as always, if there is anything that you uh, want to point out, go ahead and do so. For example, uh, SL Weave with the 14th place in Red Aim percent Glitchless Classic, a 20109. A lot of people, it seems like, have been doing a single split classic. I was about to say that. I feel like we went maybe like a year on podcast and never saw a classic run. And now there's two or more every month, which is awesome to see. Long can standing I also records. just point? Or oh, sorry, go, go, Jordan. I was just going to say the longest standing records. I'm pretty sure, right? I think so. Oh, it probably is now, yeah. Uh, I, I was gonna say uh, it's it's return. This is a meme from a very long time ago, on the podcast of how many German flags there are for uh, red and blue and yellow. <laughs> there, there was a meme for a while that like every single PV was from a German runner, <laughs> and it's happened for like two months in a row or something, where just the majority of them happen to be from Germany. So <laughs> it's it's nice to see that return. <laughs> Yeah, it is uh, the three oldest records right now on the main series boards are Red Blue Classic, Yellow Classic, and Crystal Manipolis. Damn. Yep. Weird not hearing Heart Gold in that list anymore. I know. How many more full records is it? It's pre 2020. Uh, if, are... if you still have the page up. I do. It's one, right. two, three. Nine. So there's nine that are pre 2020. Um, two of them are 2018, December. So we're almost at four years on those. Um, and then pre pandemic, you just add two more to that. So 11 are pre pandemic. How many of them uh, pre patch? Oh, like the, the pre 1.2 patch. I feel like a couple of them would be. Oh, yeah. Uh, Waves 408 in Shield is. Um, from 2019, and then yeah, we've beaten that one. <laughs> we have, um, and then the actually two um, 1.0, 1.111, whatever. Uh, sword got split into two categories because of the turbo thing. So those are two of them as well. That would make sense. And then there's an eight month gap, and then the oldest one. After that is uh, Poke Guys Elite Four Round Two Run in Fire Red. Seriously? Oh wow, yeah. that seems that feels really new. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that's a testament to how busy everyone's been. Yeah, I just remember the beginning of 2021. I feel like it was March of 2021, and there were like 20 new records from that year already. Yeah, that the that's, beginning of 21 was right. Crazy. It was wild, yeah. Oh, that, that's insane. The 
Pokemon one yellow, any percent glitchless Yujito following up with the Is it following up? It's not following up, it's before. The prequel to the yeah, red, any percent glitchless red. Uh I think they took a break Yujito. and did some yellow, yeah. Yeah. Which is a general comment, it's nice to see people PBing in Gen 2. It gets so few PBs and so little love, it's nice to see it show up. Actually, I think it's about, well, I mean, Crystal, that just doesn't happen. Uh, but Gold, <laughs> Gold, Silver, there's tended to be a fair few, the last, at least the last few months, if, I remember, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, there was quite a few people active and in it for a while, but I remember there was, like, a solid, like, year or two, and it's still going for Crystal. There's, like, outside of, like, one or two people, just no one has played the game. Yeah, that is. I feel like Gold is easier to get into, but I could be wrong. I, I would agree. I believe you don't is, have yeah. to worry about the, the legendary. Yeah. It's not even that. Gold's just a nicer run. <laughs> Less spinners. <laughs> if you like Crystal, there is a thriving bingo scene, I believe. <laughs> it's actually very quiet for Fire Red Leaf Green. I think that's the quietest I've ever seen it. Definitely. Also, shout out to Mock Mockwing as well on Ruby Sapphire with 158, 55. True. Yeah. Good time. But yeah, Fire Leaf Green, that's that's surprising to see. Yeah, it's definitely the And again, again it is a it's a shorter one. So one at least one week. There's only four or five weeks in between. Right, this is only three. Compared to the last one. But yeah, uh, yeah Fire Leaf Green quieter. I feel like kind of Fire Leaf Green kinda of comes up like there's ups and downs throughout the year, especially with the uh with the uh tournament and whatnot. And yeah, our people are, yeah, as Anna and I in chat mentioned, people are running it um, quite readily, or regularly, I should say, so. Yeah, I believe uh, Truly's uh, got to do a of it again. Oh, is this all day, either early today or yesterday? One or the other. I saw it, ye yeah, yesterday. Right. I saw it was live and I was like, oh, I wonder how the Scarlet run's going. I was like, oh, wait, this isn't Scarlet. <laughs> Instantly leaves and. I just leave. F forgets the. Uh, the experience of Fire Red Leaf Green. Are you going to go back to that etiquette? Um, I think I will probably like leading into the tournament kind of thing. That's Assuming like that, there's another one. That, that will probably only be a few months away, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to Paraz for getting that uh, 342 in Heart Gold to Silver. Uh, that, that, that run is Minipolis. Uh, but it is the fastest one on emulator. That is a, it's a crazy good time. They they yeah. went from like a 348 or something to like a 342. That's like insanely good. Um, and for from my understanding, a relatively n new player by comparison to a lot of the other guys up there. I haven't seen the name very frequently. Uh, I I don't recognize the name other than. From the follow list for this channel, admittedly. First uh, run on Rubent. SRC is August 10th of this year. I was about to say, Rebent is coming in with only started this autumn. That's a ridiculously impressive improvement rate. Yeah. Zelda randomizer runner two, the Pokemon is very different. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Fair play to them. Amoeba was sneaking in with a third place yes today even, apparently. Alright. I was about to say, let's go something. Amoeba. Yeah, any percent English on the old 3DS, a 50727. That's an amazing comment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, saw the, I saw the comment on Twitter. I want to say he lost like two minutes to champion or something. Oh, no. I think yeah. it cost him record. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, says, let, let's find out. <laughs> um, honestly, no. honestly, world record oh, was super no. free coming out of the third island, but everything that could go wrong in late game did. Champ fight alone cost me two minutes. Um, wow. Yeah, that is so if sad. It, if it was two minutes, that would have. Your SRC looks so different. Uh, yes. So, um, the the reason why it's all wide is because uh, Coffee Me made a like a. I think it's called Better SRC. Oh, that's right. 
Uh, however, that because Chrome's a pain apparently to try and update, uh, like or like push updates to. Um, like the Chrome version's been kind of abandoned. The, the if you run Fire if you're on Firefox, I believe it's fully updated uh, to the most recent version. But I've taken that one that was from Firefox and then just pushed it into this using what is it called? There is a thing. I think it's stylus is it an entire like? thing yeah it's, it's an extension it's stylus yeah so it's just overridden the, the the css file and the result of it take it directly taking mace thing is just makes everything wide 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 src which you know what i, I prefer this <laughs> I yeah like this. that's fair i still hate the sticky note looking thing though i still think that is despicable I'm not as bothered just because I don't. I, I can tune that out. <laughs> I can. It sticks out so much to me. Tune that out. Was it one of my favorite things there? Let me see it. Let me go on the Reavers. I feel like there. I, my problem with the sticky wide, note yeah. is I feel like there needs to be some kind of icon if there's no comment. Like, oh, yeah. not the same icon, sure, but it looks really weird when you have a mix of both. Yeah. There you go. Like a sticky note with an X through it or something. Yeah. Make sure if you have like a featured run, it makes that massive as well on you. <laughs> you will watch my speed you run. Will. <laughs> um, I was going to say something else, but I have forgotten. Oh, yeah. Also, um, let me just like one, one of the other things as well. Uh, you can change the backgrounds, and like Pokemon is one of the default options. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know how we, if you were to go on SRC, maybe it'd be like a plain color background. Yeah. You can just set it up so it's just like Pokemon or Zelda. There's a few, a fair few set up uh, ones, which I just find interesting. I don't know if they asked what type of battle path or if they just did it. I don't remember what the setting is for all this, so I can't tell you how to do this it. It <laughs> a while ago though. And then also there was the, the leaderboard updates that they did a month or two ago, which you have to enable. Oh, but that also makes it look better. It's okay. Ultra Sun's Moon is like the worst one for this. Uh, let me go. We will get back to the leaderboard roundup in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very important. This is very important, yes. Um, so like, they, that, they made this better. Like they made these better. So it's not like yeah. only showing a limit of four. Um, and they've got like personally you can now see the only obsolete runes if you really wanted to oh Jordan's still at the top happy days that is a lie but <laughs> anyway these ball rounds up um, <laughs> Benji Rees uh, in 89th with the end percent no mount skips EV uh, time 89th with a 348 22 89 there. people on that leaderboard or there more actually just cause... yeah uh Holy you know what? let's have a look we're back on SLC again <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. normally at this point we'd be like two hours into the podcast doing the leaderboard roundup it's only been now 15. oh so, you're on pikachu you're, you're, you're on pikachu, pikachu yeah the better version sorry couldn't help it <sighs> it's just wrong it's just wrong i, I agree jordan there is 127. Oh my god. Wow. Like twice as many on Monster, right? Yeah. And Etiquette using it to boost his sword. Listen. <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, my 339, I remember submitting that and it was, like, top 20 at the time. And now it's like, I don't know where it is now. I remember it being top 20 at one point. 83rd. Yeah, I remember that being way higher. I, 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 cause I, I only remember this because I specifically remember saying I would play the game again whenever I got knocked out of the top 30 or something, and I just didn't. <laughs> I, I fully respect that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, I mean, what? Well, I guess, like, the game is at least four years old at this point now. It's, oh my god. That's also, uh, makes me feel old moment. <laughs> <laughs> So is this, where, is this yeah. where I mentioned my, my age again, just oh, to make everyone oh. feel older? 
Hey, at least you're you're older than the DS, at least. Unlike some people in PSR, that. <laughs> I know, but I'm still the one that'll get bullied for it. That's just the infinite meme, no. That is true. Forever 14 scholar, right? I think it was. Yeah, that no, that is the one. Um, Eight percent for swords. Uh, English no turbo 1.2 plus. 15th for aggressive, 20th for side positive with a 415, 29, and a 419, 23. They were both from the Swish send off race, which educate. You got upset during that, technically. <laughs> that was such a bad run. <laughs> a bunch of us just had awful luck and ended up quitting halfway through, but it's good to see a couple PBs came out of it. Also, T Pat with the sixth place with a 413, 36. Um, an Arca Drill run. That's on physical as well. Yes. So, very, very solid time. Um, okay. if, that, if that was on digital, that would probably be... Uh, it'd be sub 410. Yeah, I the... I, I don't know if it'd be 408. I don't know. The, I don't think it's that much. The, the super uh, lazy conversion I use is a minute per hour. So, about okay. a 409, yeah. Yeah. Very solid time for t who is aiming only for a sub 420. Yes. Uh, AJ was second with a 409.23 on the turbo side of the board, though, as well. That's probably Candy Floss. Oh, yeah, it'll definitely be Candy Floss, knowing Pedro. Yeah, Benchino. It's definitely Candy Floss. Yeah. Especially In the comments. Cool. Why, why do the nice easy version huh. of the gate of the run, and not the? There are so many harder sleep. versions that you could do instead. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, don't though. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to finish runs, do candy floss. More room in third for the four thirteen point three. That's also a very good time, with five encounters and apparently one minute lost to right hand two. Uh, a few Japanese runners as well, potentially with uh, doing warm up for Scarlet Violet. So I feel like this game ended up run well, ended up turning out very different compared to. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, compared to Scarlet Violet, oh, compared to Soul Shield even. I mean, again, again you're the belt. Oh, well, I guess you, yeah, you and I. Uh, I, don't yeah. I haven't ran. I haven't actually done runs, but I've been playing quite a bit. Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> yeah, without going too much into it, it's actually a lot more akin to like the any percent with DLC run, because um, what you end up doing is uh, because the game is open world, you're allowed to go everywhere, um, and we just go we go everywhere, get fly points, and get um, rare candies and experience candies, and make ourselves like really over leveled. So um, it's a lot like any percent with DLC, where you get something overpowered. And sort of breeze through a lot of the game um but eventually like being over leveled catches up to you um because the game actually you know will start leveling the uh like when you get to the elite four you're still over leveled but not nearly as much so um but yeah like that that would be the closest analogy we have is that any percent with dlc category the xp candy might be hated yeah it <laughs> It is, there are 13 EXP candy larges that I can think of, I think. Somewhere from between 10 and 15 large candies, which are 10,000 experience a piece. Um, and we don't even get them all because like, that's just too many. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of mediums. There's a ton of normal rare candies. I think when I, messing around on day one, I was able to get my starter from like level 22 to level 80 something all in one go. And that was on day two and we still found more since then. So good game. Yeah. Also Pedro in second with the, uh, the 4152 in the 80% with DLC uh, category on sword with turbo. Uh, Legends Arceus, only the one run, Sly Freak, yeah, 
with the 447.47 on any percent. We're going to see him too. Uh, Rinchan DX in 12 with a 213.55. Uh, Ron Boy, 20th with a 223.43, and then 29th Phantom, 5800 uh, 5, with a 231.27. Uh, Elis Arklis with a couple of snap runs, 68th in any percent and 20th in 100%. 2404 and a 2642, effectively. Also, the fact that any percent and 100% is like a let me look. Three many different uh, differences if you're comparing the world record. That is. That's interesting. Yeah. Just as an idea. So I guess also that's probably that's approximately like a fifth. There's still like twenty percent, I guess. Time difference. Maybe. Whatever the equivalent of a six would be the percentage. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Fodo in 19th with Pokemon Call Team Ape sent uh, a 340.30. That's a very good time. But also the fact that. Like that, that's a lot of you of runs that have now gone under 340. It used to be a lot closer. So, that was to everyone who's been running Coliseum. It's been quite. I don't know if it's been quite a few new runners. I mean, there has been new runners. But I don't know if it's also a lot of people who have just gotten a lot better and have kept pushing with it. In very good times. Calgary uh, Ascensions. I remembered to include the gold silver one this time. <laughs> Finally added it. But uh, yeah, a couple of old mains, uh, old main espions specifically. Did I make a mistake? I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Looks like the same run. They, they, they are the same run. <laughs> I, I have, look, I happen to have the code up. You're um, acting saying the same seconds for gold and crystal. No, they're different links. Huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, hang on. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know now what because I know I've clearly messed up. But it's how did I mess up? That's why I wanted to know. Um, so the official releases because that's where all the categories sent you. I've got to hate how the SLC do this. Right. No, no, that is, um... That link should go to Crystal. It would probably be helpful if they changed the URL. I am going to apparently call people out. Don't know who. Uh, <laughs> that, that one person? Nah, you've been called out. Yeah, whoever it is. Um... Would it have been yeah. a war tab actually? <laughs> um, that would have made it, yes, but you can change the URL name somewhere else, I believe. Yeah, you I can change it. Oh, that's right, you can change it in the mod settings. Yeah. So, apparently, whoever is. I'm not, I'm not going to say the names. <laughs> but yeah, it's still. So, for the Crystal one, it's still Pokemon GSC. EXT, uh, GSC. Gold Silver, it's Gold Silver. But I, actually, that makes this worse. Potentially, hang on. Uh, which <laughs> <laughs> let me so hang on. All main pokes. Okay, then all main pokes. Why is SP on? Okay, we'd also like to put it. They do not put in alphabetical order for the all main pokes. Okay, but yeah, that's on the crystal one. So that's. That is more confusing. Why is it showing the crystal ones for gold? When I can see the gold one is gold silver. Alright. No, wait, no, no, I've seen my mistake. Never mind. It's 100 percent me. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've got the abilities. 
Never mind. I We're will seeing call the myself world of out. Jordan live on stream. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Um, Better than cool. Jordan's descent into madness because he can't figure out why it's wrong. <laughs> that is, I feel like, most people who have dealt with code. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Fire Leaf Green, all main pokes, Charizard, and the number the 20440. Very, very good time. Yeah. I have. That's. What, what's the world record for. 201 something? Maybe 200. 200 by Shiro, I believe. Oh, yeah. And then uh, there's a. Uh... Is Ananans as well, Ananan and Kuka, the emulated ones as well, that are very close, that are also two. So yeah, Ananans is just an amazing runner in this game, and EBA games in general. Yeah, very, very knowledgeable, very good at the game, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Stocky for running the any percent trades category in the DP category extensions. That category Wait, is what? epic. What does uh, that involve? Well, let's have a look. It involves you trading over a glitched Pokemon um, that is holding a bike, I believe. Right, where's that? Why does this vaguely oh, ring a bell to me? Because oh, <laughs> he's not the only person that's ran it, Etiquette. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I was about to say, skip past the Diamond Pearl saving time. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have two hours for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> this category is just so cool. So I guess you just get access to the bike really early and then you can just tweak immediately. Yeah, I, I believe that's what it is. It's awesome. Because you, obviously you'll still have to fight your way through um, Route 202. You have the three battles there. Um, and then you'll then, get yourself to Jubilife. And then say the tweak's once, just in Jubilife, yeah. Yeah. Once you get yourself into Jubi, then you can do the tweak. I should be curious what tweak he'll do, because it would be worth it to do. This, technically, it would be better to do the slow bike tweak in Jubi, because you approach from the south, so... Let's... You tweak on 201. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, oh I trades. forgot that... 201 loot lines are accessible. Wait. Why is it two trades? Like, is one, one the bike and is the other one relevant? Good question. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's group? Uh, that around here. Oh, okay, so this would be what Rubentis has just said. You tweak in the grass and hope for no encounter. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, can't, refresh can't graphics. Have, can't have that other oh! trait on carrying a... Okay, then you'll have this void path instead. Why can't you just have the other Pokemon holding a repel? Oh, I wonder what the other Pokemon has. Yeah, quick, quick, quick feet feet feet. so it's not that likely to give you an encounter. You need, oh, the, you explorer. need the explorer kit. Uh, okay. So that's the second Pokemon. Oh, okay. So the explorer kit is the second item. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of choose between. Are you guys sure this is faster than just trading over a good Pokemon with the bike and just one-shotting things on 202 <laughs> and tweaking in Jubi? Are you sure? Because I, I, I'm not convinced. <laughs> Alright, Squish. Let's, let's see you next month. <laughs> next month. I have a Japanese in any of Time and Pearl. Yeah. I could. <laughs> That's it, that's it. Why is it on Japanese and can, you, can this be done on? I don't believe this can be done on English, no. Okay. Interesting. Why are we going underground? Probably some. 
requirement, I guess. Yeah, going underground does do stuff with the the void. Oh, okay. But going underground, the first time you go underground, as you just saw there, you get a cutscene with Rourke. Um, so that's why I'm I'm really not convinced that this is uh, this is the fastest method. Especially because this void path is really long. Anyone who's played uh, Diamond Pearl any percent will know. Oh, you know what it maybe is? It's maybe you go to the Explorer kit to allow you to use the bike. Because otherwise the game thinks you're in a house and it won't allow you to equip the bike. So maybe that's why you use the Explorer kit. Maybe that's part of the purpose behind it. I'm not sure. But even so, this Void Path is really long. Like, if you play Diamond Pearl any percent, you'll know that the uh, the Void Path you use in Jubilife is actually really short. Is that this timing will include the credits as well? So, yeah, here here's your um, the start of it, the Hall of Fame stuff. I don't know, man. Surely, surely that's pretty close. To just doing it the the juby. The issue, wait, well, yeah, I assume you could do something to get past the catch. It's possible, right? Sure, there's some sort of tweak you could do to get past the catching tutorial. Because the, the Juby Void path is significantly shorter than that and wouldn't even require the second trade either. Yeah, Ru Ruventus is right. The, 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 the discussion is in the DS Discord. I know Retire has been putting a lot of effort into it as well with Stucky. Retire has contributed quite a lot to it. Retire, the absolute best um, glitcher for PSR. Him and Map have both done a lot of fantastic work for the glitch categories. That is a cool idea for a category. Yeah, I, I remember uh, the current record holder coming into the um, uh, coming into the Discord and asking about the category, and I was like, okay, this looks really cool, but because it does involve another game, I don't know how people will feel about it. So I brought it up, and no one seemed to care, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's add it. This sounds awesome. Uh, it's on category extensions as well, so... Apparently the discussion was done back in April. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the 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 initial proposal for it was done quite a bit ago. That's right. That's eight months ago. <laughs> That's a bit of a time crisis, isn't that? Um. Also, third for uh, how was how do you say that? Dilefe. Jalefe, we'll go with Jalefe. In third place, for any percent alt language French manipulus, a 10802. Um, Shout out to Jimmy for the uh, the second PB in the tournament. He's gotten both of which died to red uh, after basically being fully set up. Um, he's PB twice this month. Um, obviously only the second one shows, but, um, yeah, two, two, two runs in a row <laughs> died to pretty much fully set up red. Also, fourth, fourth place for Chip Idiot, a 3.330. Also a rel- d uh, Been yeah, around right, for yeah. a bit longer than some of the others um but hasn't been doing runs that long from memory has a lot of knowledge though right. i've seen them throwing around some really uh good writing ideas in the discord fair fair we're still with the battle factory open level silver world record a 4056 with that set one <laughs> All main posts, uh, superior Japanese world record for Ashi Tsutsun uh, with a 406.35. Fun fact, record. superior used to be the right for Pokemon Black and White 1. So it you turned used, out superior used to was Ivy. not, it would turn out to be not superior, superior. <laughs> Oh, 
fourth place for Manipolis on Japanese for Black to White 2, a 4-18-24. Solo Diploma World Record for uh, Igarushi. Solo Diploma is 6-54-15. Is that I? What is solo diploma? Like, do you do the games at, like? I feel like do you have to do the same games at the same time? Because I thought, if I remember correctly, you didn't do that, right, Ezeka? When you did, yeah, that. I did not do that. Um, but you could. Like, there was no rule no, behind no it. It was mostly I only had one monitor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you need to get your record back. We'll see. All right. Um, as usual, actually, I was I was gonna say as usual. Uh, there's only two trade lot main for Soul Shield, and both of them are not new. I believe. Uh, wait, no, is the Mew one new? The Mew one might be new, actually. It might I believe be it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, still. So, four thirty eight flat with Mew, Psychic Champion. Um. And then second place for like, Fluffykins with trade all mains are Manitan, Galarian, a 335-16. Only 16 seconds off the actual world record. Pretty good. Got Flex on Mumrin, got uh, Isle of Armor, all mains, all main dub wall specifically. A new world record for Dynamax Adventure, one player, Mimichu with a 419. And then Galarian starts on the 6 for Saij with a 739.50. That Saipotic Ruin. I we already think, talked about that. Yeah, it's I think like, I mentioned that earlier because yeah. it's on the main board as well. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. I'm not going crazy. Well, I am, but that's whatever. Um, that is the end, though. That is all all the leaderboard round have done. Also, I love Grouch's comment on his. Oh. It's on Mum Run. I bought this game to play casually, but if it ends up that this is the only thing I do with it, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> A single flex on Mum Run. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate flex. But yeah. Um, the next podcast to be on January 7th yes January 7th um, go on. thank you for coming back to the podcast again you, you are most welcome then etiquette and I not Tucker because Tucker is not here uh, thank you. For, thank you for joining again. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah nice, next nice month's podcast. podcast this, well, I was going to say next month's podcast will probably have a lot of Scarlet Violet stuff just because we will hopefully have leaderboards up, um, have actual world records and things like that. Um, we'll probably sort of like we did with PLA when it first came out. Um, have just a lot to talk about so if you are like i said if you're interested in it definitely join the psr discord uh for the switch games um and don't miss next month's episode of the podcast because we're going to talk about it a lot probably i imagine so yeah that will i can't see any other thing being like a major topic this well there'll be other no runs but that will there'll be a lot <laughs> yeah especially with how some of the routing's been going in that so far yeah, any other last things? I will take that as a no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Ian. No, nothing from me. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, uh, there will be the Pokemon Coliseum task revealed tomorrow. That will be 5 p.m. Uh, UK time, 12 p.m. Eastern, as mentioned earlier. It would be great if. Uh, it'd be great if you could watch that. Other than that, hope you have a good rest of your day or evening wherever you are. Stay safe, take care.
Bye. Bye. Bye.